<laughs> don't want to get out of bed. I really don't want to get out of bed. Oh my god. <sighs> mm. I look like trash. I literally just woken up. Good morning and welcome. I can't even see myself because I haven't got my contact lens in. So I can't even see myself on the screen. <laughs> This is great. Um, welcome to another weekly vlog. I haven't vlogged in ages, and to be fair, I've missed it so much. I love just chatting shit to the camera. I don't know, it's probably like one of my favourite pastimes, so I'm so happy I'm vlogging again. This should be a really cute vlog, actually. So it's currently Monday. Currently, like, I'm going to say, like, quarter past 11, and I haven't got out of bed yet because I'm giving myself a lie-in. Well, that's what I'm telling myself anyway. I feel like I should actually do something today because it's, it's kind of sunny. Look. Like, I can see the sun coming through my curtains. So, I feel like I'll get up, make some pancakes, have a shower, and then just see what is in store for me today. Okay, I finally got downstairs. It is cool. It's 20 to 12, so it kind of is... I'm going to class this as brunch. And I don't know if I want a smoothie or pancakes. Or I have both. Because I feel like that's acceptable, right? You can have... A smoothie with pancakes so i feel like that's what we're gonna do today um these are like my favorite mornings because around this time mom and dad take honey out for a walk so i've got like the whole kitchen to myself like no one is here interfering with my breakfast like there's no other noise that like, there's nothing stupid on tv like it's just very nice and calm which is what i love because lockdown oh god you just get on top of each other do you know what i mean and like People want to know what you're making for breakfast and then they're trying to talk to you so early in the morning. It's like, look, like I just need like an hour after I wake up, just like no contact, no one to talk to me. Like I can't be super awake and alive as soon as I wake up. It's just not going to happen. So this is really nice. Look, I've got the whole kit to myself. I haven't even put the TV on because I just want peace and quiet. By the way, Marianne is still upstairs sleeping and she probably sleeps till like 2 p.m. So I always have... I always have the kitchen to myself in the mornings, which is really nice. Let's make these pancakes. I've got to keep my toppers. Warren Queen. This is from Iso at first, and all the profits are donated to the NHS. I feel like I have made these pancakes in a vlog before because they are so such good pancakes. They're so easy to make and like take literally like two minutes. I don't really know what to do today. I didn't really have a plan for today because I was like, oh, I'm going to be hungover. So I didn't want to set myself too much to do do you know what i mean because i don't know how much of it i'll get done but i know i need to go to m s yeah i need to send off some depop and just like general things i want to go for a walk because the weather today has been so beautiful honestly it's never i'm not joking like in throughout all the years it has never been this sunny in fucking may but like the time when we're not actually allowed to go out it's so sunny like last week it was so hot just sunbathed in the garden so for the moment we said okay but the thing is i have been buying i've been buying an excessive amount of joggers jumpers like zip ups like i've been buying a lot of sweat stuff like co-ords that you just wear around the house but now it's really hot and obviously you are allowed to go out the house to see one other person so i want to like dress cute do you know what i mean so i ha like i don't have any summer clothes that transition hit me hard and to be fair most things i don't like and i have sent back because they just don't fit right like around my boobs or like they're too tight on the bum it's literally the easiest pancake recipe you'll literally just pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and mix them until they form like a nice batter so this i'm trying to do this one handed okay pancakes are made the one i burnt the one underneath so i've kind of hidden it but i'm gonna put some syrup on my pancakes Probably like, there we go. Oh my God. Mum's new obsession is, what is it? What's it called? The Yorkshire Vet. She has it on 24 seven. Yes, you do. Well, let's try these pancakes. They're nice. Are they? Do you want to come and say that in my vlog? Come and say that to the people and prove it. Mom, my pancakes are very light and fluffy, very delicious. Even though you don't like American pancakes, do you? You prefer crepe ones. I prefer, yeah, but they're nice. But she likes these ones. Yeah, they're so. very nice. Does anyone else dog bark at the screen when another dog comes on? 
Yeah. Honey's the worst for that, isn't she? Mm. But now she's settled down and she's watching it. Yeah, but at the start, she's crazy. Oh, why does this line always play me in my room? Is this with like, oh, it's this curtain. Okay, I, I've come upstairs now, I had a shower and I put a little bit of fake tan on my face because I thought I wasn't going to wear makeup today and I wanted to look a bit more tan, but turns out I actually have a plan for today. Oh God, I just moisturise the hair into my face. I have some very exciting news. Costa is actually reopened in Nottingham. I think like two or three have, have actually reopened. So I'm so happy about that because I have been literally craving a nice coffee so much because yeah i know i attempted to make them like at the start of lockdown you know those tiktok ones but they just didn't taste the same and they weren't hitting the spot and i don't know i just i don't know if it was me or uh, i just really i just wasn't a fan so i'm literally so excited to go and get a nice coffee now because i need one personally i am a starbucks girl like i don't know what it is but i just prefer the taste of their coffee and i feel like they have so much more to choose from when I'm not feeling coffee than Costa. The closest Starbucks to, to me is actually in Derby, which is open. And that's a 40 minute drive. And I don't think a 40 minute drive is worth it for a Starbucks. I mean, maybe one day if I'm like really, really bored and I've literally run out of things to do, then I will go and get one. But I think that's just unnecessary when there's a Costa open down the road today i just rang liv today i'm gonna go for a walk with liv because i haven't seen her well i haven't seen her because it's been uk lockdown hasn't it um but now you are allowed in the uk to see one other person from a different household in an open space if you are two meters apart yeah we're just gonna go for a lovely walk because it is super sunny today oh god i just fucked the lighting up sorry i don't know there's just something about the uk weather which i can't sunbathe in like i need to be like by the pool like a different country to actually be able to sunbathe i find sunbathing in england just really uncomfortable and i don't like it is that just me am i just being weird or do other people find that as well i just i just can't do it i just don't like doing it like i'll sit in the sun but I just can't sunbathe. I don't know. There's just something about it. I just, I just don't know. I'm just gonna sit here and do my makeup. Okay, I'm pretty much all ready now. I've done my makeup. I put on lashes and I've done my instant tan because I was looking so pale this morning and I was like, I just can't go out like that. I need to look, you know, bronze like I've been on holiday. Couldn't do my back. Mum's giving me a helping hand, aren't you? Yeah. What are mum's for, hey? <laughs> I think I need to put some more on. It's all. I also put eyelashes on today, if you can tell. I found some of these wispies and I was like, you know what? I'm well, going to put some on. Nothing. I'm just going for a walk, but like, it makes me feel like I'm going on a night out or something at two in the afternoon. Oh, look at me. I haven't worn some in ages. Look at me. Oh. I put this top on that I got in LA and I've got these Nike shorts on. Which is super cute, which I got quite recently, and they're my new faves. But it's like 10 past two, and I'm supposed to meet Liv at half two. And I'm gonna quickly go to Costa now and pick us both up a Costa because I can't get myself one, not get Liv one, so I'm gonna get her one. But I'm just thinking, like, what jacket do I wear with this outfit? Because I know in LA, I wore my grey blazer with this jacket, but I think everyone's been telling me it's too hot for a blazer. It's like, do I put my white shirt on or do I just brave it, put a blazer on and then if I get too hot, I can just take it off. I don't know, I need that like in between, like jacket. Maybe I should put a shirt on. I could look cute. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you're gonna stay up there. Okay, I'm on my way to Costa. I'm gonna get us some iced lattes for our walk. Usually I'm a vanilla iced latte kind of bitch, but today I am feeling caramel because I haven't had one in so long and I'm just like, I forgot what the caramel iced latte tastes like, so I'm going to get two, well you'll see what I get when I order it. Okay, there's quite a queue, there's like three cars in front of me, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. God, I don't know if it would be that busy because it's like 23 in the afternoon, so I just thought this is a weird time to get a coffee, so I thought it would be alright. 
but no, there are two cars in front of me. Yeah, as I was saying, what I usually do, I get just like a normal iced latte without any vanilla syrup in, and then I'll bring it home and put my own vanilla syrup in that I bought from M&S in the other vlog because adding syrup is like 80p and they never, ever, ever put enough syrup in it and it doesn't even taste like vanilla, so. But I can't do that, obviously, because I forgot my vanilla. And I'm not going home. Hello. Oh, welcome. Hi, can I have two medium ice lattes? I can do a small one, so you don't have any medium cups, I'm afraid. Oh, okay then. Can we have three small ice caramel lattes with almond milk, please? With what, sorry? Almond milk. So, three ice almond milk with caramel syrup. Yes. Yeah, no problem. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it, thanks. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, they didn't have any medium cups, so I got three small ones. So that means that when we're both finished our small one, we can divide the third one. Yeah, you know what Costa? I didn't realise this right. At Costa, they only do small and mediums. They don't do large or anything. I didn't know that. Like, I thought, I've been saying, every time I go to Costa, I, I've been saying large, and then they obviously just gave me the medium, because that's the largest size they have. But I didn't know that. Mind... Mind blown. But I haven't done a drive in ages. Maybe I should do one. And like go to KFC or something. Because I know KFC is open in Nottingham. It's just down there. But McDonald's isn't. But oh my god, I saw something on Twitter this morning. And on the 4th of June, which is next week, they're opening all McDonald's drive throughs Yay! Oh my god! I'm going to do a McDonald's mukbang next week with Mao. When that reopens. Oh my god, yeah, that's going to be so much fun. I never really eat McDonald's unless I'm hungover. But I feel like the fact that I haven't had the option to eat it makes me want it even more. Does that, if that makes sense to anyone. down machine so they've got your card on there so you like tap your card and then they put the drinks on there and put them down so there's no contact could not reach the iced coffees off the little tray i had to undo my seatbelt and get up and there was like three cars behind me it was so embarrassing i had to pick them up one hand and i literally thought i was gonna drop them all but oh, great we love being small look who it is we are reunited mm. and she's got the iced coffees haven't you yeah. Isn't that a good idea for me though to get three? Yeah. Yeah, they ran out of medium cups. I panic. I like to have a big coffee. You look so small in the background here. Let me try one. I want to see if they've actually put extra caramel in. Gaudi. Are they putting extra caramel in that? I don't know, you know. Actually. I think I prefer vanilla ones. Yeah, you do. And caramel though. But I was like, I haven't had caramel in ages, I'm gonna try it. The eyes just melted a bit, so it's a bit warm, but whatever, we're not complaining. I can't wait till we can start um, doing CL shot it's again. I know. To be fair, this has been great for my liver. Like, it has. Okay. We had, we had like, really drunk that over Zoom. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. That was really drunk. But I think like, we deserved think, that. Like, we drank like everything. Like, we go out every week. No, we drink like twice. twice. Yeah, and then we'd go out for like cocktails. On Friday. We drink Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Wow. So we're really but changing. Not just like, a few drinks, like excessive drinking. So it's just been great. <laughs> it's been great. I feel so healthy. <laughs> I don't know I've what I'm over it. I don't even know how long you know. Really? How is that? Like, I always used to get them. Maybe not. Not allowed to drink and the clubs are open. We're going to do a um, revised sale or shot it, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Where we actually answer the questions this time. Mm. 
which I'm very excited for. Also, McDonald's is opening next week. I know, I can't wait. I can't wait. <gasps> do you think they'll bring back mocha frappes because it's really summer? They fucking, but do you if remember do, that? Do you remember, <gasps> what vlog was that in? I don't, I don't know. Oh my God, it was in the drive with me. They discontinued mocha frappes. That was the best summer drink from McDonald's it's ever. The best. Their iced coffee is really nice as well. Cost is all we got. I think that one. That the one bridge is literally the queue, imagine. Mm -mm. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be packed. Oh my god, my makeup looks fucked and I'm really scared. I'm gonna flash a tit in, in this pajama top. But look how cute it is. It's a little while later now. I just thought we'd do a little get on ready with me because I have changed my skincare a lot and I just want to show you what I use because I get so many questions. So obviously the Clinique take the day off bomb, look how much I've been using it. I could literally rave about this all day, every day. If I say get one product out today, it's get this bloody take the day off balm. It is amazing. Yeah, it is like on the pricier side, but it's completely worth it. And it literally lasts so long. Because obviously you only do it when you take your makeup off, which is not every day. Like if you wear makeup every day, you use it every day. But you only use it once a day or probably a couple of times a week. You only need the tiniest bit and it just melts off your face. It's literally a godsend. Uh, I have Chitsy to thank for hooking me up with Kenny. And it's on ASOS, so you just buy it with your clothes order. It's literally the easiest thing ever. Then I will usually. I don't really. I cleanse my face in the morning with the cleanser, but I'm running low on that, so I only do that once a day. But then I take my Ole Hendrickson foam cleanser, which I fucking love, and I cleanse my face. Ole Hendrickson is probably my favourite skincare brand. But you only need like one pump as well and it lasts so long remember who did i learn this off oh my god oh amber amber rose gill did a skincare routine and she was like you have to wash your face like this like you have to massage it in for 60 seconds or it won't work which i didn't know i just thought you could like rub it in a little bit but no it's 60 seconds Amber, if you're watching this thank you not that she probably is, but. <laughs> and then I have two toners, which I've been using at the moment. One is the Dark Spot Toner from Ola Henriksen, and the other is the Ordinary Toning Solution Glycolic Solution Acid 7%. I don't know. This is very strong though. I've had DMs like, you don't need to use this every day, only a couple times a week, and you have to wear SPF with it because it's really strong. So I've been only using this occasionally, but right now I have been loving this because here, like just under my mouth, I like, I think me and Chinzia both have it. We've got like really dark patches here. Like we always put like extra concealer there. And using this all over my face, I just squirt it on on a cotton pad and just brush it over my skin and it smells amazing. Using this, it does sting your hand though. Fuck. If you've got a cut in your hand, it stings. Oh, hello. Oh. Just vlogging. Mum's joined us for the get on running with me. But I just put this all over my face and it's been really helping my dark circles here. Have you noticed that? What? You know these dark circles I have on my face? No. Oh, okay. Well, I have. <laughs> then, I use the ordinary booth buffet. Oh, booth. Is this all she needs? I'll get her out of the shop. She's not allowed in that get on running on me. But then I use the Ordinary Buffet Serum. This is the only serum I could get my hands on. I know there's loads, but this is the one I use. I got it off ASOS. So I just drop a couple of drops all over my face and rub that in. This is really nice. It's giving me a really nice glow. I only introduced this probably like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and it's really lovely. Actually, we might do something different today. Usually I put on my Ole Hendrickson brightening gel cream which you know I all love so I use that or your girl finally bought the origins drink up intensive mask so I either put this on or I put this on and leave it overnight so I feel like we'll do this today because I've had a couple of DMs like is it good but I haven't used it enough to like, let you know but it smells gorgeous and it's so refreshing and it really cools down your skin I don't know how much you're supposed to use, but I like quite a lot. What are we glowing? It's got, it literally says avocado and glacier water. Glacier water? 
I mean, avocado is supposed to be really good for your skin. That's pretty much all I do to my skin in the evening, and then obviously I brush my teeth. And that's what my skin looks like. Yeah, this is what happens when I blow dry my hair. It just goes crazy, like, and look how yellow it is. I need it dyed ASAP, look at that. Okay, it is now the next day, and my hair's pissing me off, what's new? Um, so the next day, it is 20 to 12, and I've already worked out how to shower and wash my hair. You proud of me? Mm. Oh, this hair's pissing me off. What I bought yesterday that came, Basically, I wanted to make donuts on Sunday, I think it was. The video I watched, she had like a donut cutter and they were perfect, perfect shape. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do it if they're not perfect. So I bought some donut holes, like donut cutters off Amazon. Really excited, I've never made donuts before. Have you? Ever tried to make donuts? Um, no, I don't think I have, no. I want to make the ring ones like this, so I've got a hole in the middle and then yeah. I dip them in sugar. She is so pink today. Look at that. I just put in frozen strawberries, my banana and some yogurt. Oh my god, this hair is really playing me today. Back into production. Yeah, they started last Wednesday doing some special two-hand Oh my god, that's so banana today. Taste test. That's him. Does that taste like a boost? It's very banana -y, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna do my makeup now because I always feel that little bit better when I've done my makeup, even though I don't know, even though my skin has been looking considerably better these days, I just like it when I have a little bit of makeup on. I don't know. I did a cool beauty order, which I mentioned, and I bought the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer that everyone raves about. So I might try that, even though I like never use tinted moisturizer, except like one time on holiday, I think I used it because I didn't want to wear foundation, but I'm just not in the mood for foundation today. I've done my makeup now, which actually looks really nice and glowy. Feels like I have nothing on my skin, more well, except for my lips, because it's glossy, but I really like it. Let me show you. Ooh. Hey there. Glowy! But it is donut time and we're gonna make some donuts. So this is the recipe I'm using. I've written it out. Basically, there are so many donut recipes like in the whole world, well, obviously. But I was obviously like Googling loads of recipes and there are so many different variations. I was like, I don't, wanna, I don't know if I wanna fry them. I don't know if I wanna bake them. Like you have to leave them, some you leave overnight to like freeze, I don't really know. So I've sort of just like done an amalgamation of like every recipe I could find and like made this one. But I don't know if this is actually gonna work, but we're gonna, this is like a little experiment and we're gonna see if it works. It's gonna take all day because you have to leave the dough to prove for two hours. And it is three now. So by the time we can make these donuts, it will be probably like six. Like we're gonna make them after dinner, but I should have started earlier really, shouldn't I? I'm so excited to make these donuts. Cause I'm actually, I am a fan of donuts. They're not my favorite, like I prefer a cupcake. But I think I want to challenge myself today and see if we can do this. I think it's quite similar to the cinnamon roll recipe and I did all right with them. I'm feeling quite positive because you just have to make a dough and let it prove. She just says combine wet ingredients with the dry ingredients, but I'm gonna form a well in the middle and pour it in. And this should make a dough, so let's see how this goes. God, I've been making so many doughs recently. I feel like Paul Hollywood and Mary Berry merged into one because Paul's more like pastries, isn't he? And oh god, and bread. And Mary's more cake, so I think everyone's kind of scared of making a dough because I used to be scared of making doughs. But honestly, it's like the easiest thing. Look, I've just poured that in 
and it's made of dough. Like, look how easy that was. Okay, what does it say? Should be sticky and soft. Knead on a well-oiled surface until well elasticated. This dough has literally taken me 10 minutes to make. And look, it's a dough. I just need to knead it now until it's all smoothing together. Yeah, I watched a couple YouTube videos as well on how to make donuts, and they said you don't want to flour the surface because you don't want to add more flour into here because something happens. I don't really know the scientific terms. So she said, put oil on the surface and knead it on there, and you can add a little bit of flour, but not too much. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I would probably I'm glad mum's asleep in this. I'm just going to pour the dough out onto the oiled surface and give it a good knead. Look at, look at it. It's quite a small dough, but it just says, what is it? Knead until it's elasticated. So I'm just going to knead it until it looks like the cinnamon roll one. And look at this dough. I've been kneading this for about five minutes now. I don't want to touch it because it's really sticky and I've just washed my hands. But look, she looks perfect. Um, is this bowl going to be big enough? She's supposed to double in size. Use this one. This one's bigger, look. I feel like it's more appropriate. Let me take a picture of that for that gram content, you know. I really proved my cinnamon rolls for an hour and and the dough doubled in size so this donut recipe is telling me to do it for two hours so i don't really know i feel like i'll do it for an hour i'll check up on it oh shit i was supposed to oil the bowl i'll let it prove for an hour see what it looks like and see if it's doubled in size and then i'll make a decision because two hours i don't want to wait that long okay Already. my dough has been proving a lot longer than three hours i put it in at half four and it's half six. Oh, that is literally two hours that is two hours oh i can't tell the time okay to be fair she's doubles in size she's big she's thick oh she smells she's like dough <laughs> she's a mammoth she's beautiful but she's a mammoth of course she's so huge but she's so beautiful <laughs> she's huge and but she's, she's so, so beautiful, beautiful. she's a, a mammoth, mammoth of course. course and she has blonde hair <laughs> i need to roll out on floured surface until a half an inch thick and then we cut them out and make our donuts oh, so much mess it smells like bread uh, well it's a I dough it. our dough here and we're going to roll it out to half an inch thick, Ooh, thick. which i don't even know what a half an inch is <coughs> and we've got a makeshift rolling pin you know we actually do have a rolling pin Really? Yeah. I'll get it. Oh, I think. She's using a water bottle for a rolling pin. I didn't know we had one. Hmm. Found it. Okay, obviously, I bought my donut cutters off Amazon. I don't know how big I want them. Let me get these out. Okay, this is the biggest size. That's quite a big donut. Maybe we'll do... I feel like this size with what size middle? That's the smallest. Oh, that's a bit small. Like that. That looks all right. Can, if, it, if you can... Oh, oh, my God. Like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, my God. She's so cute. Maybe I should cut them all out and then take them out on the tray. I feel like that would be easier. And there's six more over here. So I got about 13 donuts, which is all right. So I'm going to cover these now and leave them to prove a bit longer. Well, me and Chinzia had plans for a sunset walk. So I'm going to leave the donuts like just on the tray and then go for a walk. I'm, going, I'm wearing this cute dress, this ASOS one. Um, I, I haven't done it up there because I can't drive in it because it's quite tight. I'll do it up when when I get to the walking spot. Okay, I had a like momentarily last minute change because I couldn't walk in that fucking yellow dress. thing and I split it. So I put this cute white one on, which is super comfy from Zara. And look who I'm with. Don't look at my outfit. Oh, well, come here then. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The sun is on us. The sun's really beautiful. 
really I forgot tough. my vlog camera, so this is on my phone. But we've just gone for a lovely walk. Like, do you want to see for that uh, sunset? Really nice. And then look, we've just walked all the way up this hill and back again. And we're just at the top of the hill, look. It's so it's pretty. Oh yeah, so look, there's a public footpath and then you walk down here. We yeah, took Hun. We and then look, it goes all the way down there and it's so pretty. And no one ever comes up here. Like, we were taking Instagram pictures, weren't we? We've seen maybe two people. Both thought we were crazy, but whatever. whatever. Since you actually said to me, like, have you had your hair dyed? Like, did you dye your hair today? Well, I was I, like... Sophia told me today, she thought in her story you'd had it dyed. Really? No, I would have said. Basically, when I wash it, it just goes really blonde. Really We've blonde. already established this in the vlog. But hopefully I can have it dyed tomorrow. I'm going to talk to dad yeah. tonight. The thing is, it's so blonde on top and then underneath it's so brown. So it looks weird when it's like down. Do you know what I mean? I see what more blonde. No, I just want to tone the blonde down so it fades in uh, better with the brown. I like the blonde. You look, it's like Kylie Jenner hair. Yeah, I know, but it's... Oh, you don't get it. Oh. Excuse me, I'm vlogging. Excuse me. But we're going to finally make the donuts. So it literally says here on the... It's on the recipe. Oil needs to be about 100 degrees Celsius. It says cook them at a low temp until golden brown. What we're working with. <laughs> and then these are the donuts, which have literally been, oh my God, they're huge. <laughs> they're literally been proving for like <laughs> two hours now. Cause I went on my walk, didn't I? Oh my God, they're literally huge. Okay, this is what we've got so far. We're on our last one, just because it was so hard to like learn how to do it and I was, it was taking ages. So let me just show you how I do this one. Plop it into the oil like that. And it literally takes a couple seconds on each side to cook, look. I had to do it one at a time just so I could keep an eye on it because Obviously the first three burnt because I put them all in at the same time and then obviously didn't know how long they took. Floats around the oil mining her own business and then look, we flip her over and she's nice and golden. And Mariana is on icing duty. She's making the glaze for these. But I think they look really good. I know, but just keep checking it's cooked on this side. That's all right. And then I just fish it out gently and stack it on the plate. Oh my God, they actually look so good, except this burn one, ignore that. But oh my God, look. Okay, we've got them on a tray now, and I think they look good. These are the rejects. I think these look really good. Mariana made this, like, glaze, but it was a bit thick at the start, so I've just thinned it out, and I'm gonna dip it in. And then you just coat it like this. Oh my God. Make sure it's nice and coated. Oh God. And then we'll take that out and put it on the tray. So yeah, but it will harden into like a glaze. Cause look at that one, that's so thick. Yum. <laughs> I mean, they look so cute. <laughs> Yeah, they look so just loving it, this one. Louis, I've got your donut here. If you want a donut, yeah, you can come pick it up. And this one. But Mariana decided to make a Nutella one, which looks like <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just going to let this glaze harden so it's like Krispy Kreme with cream. Ooh, it does smell good though, I'm not going to lie. Right, okay, let's try one. You're supposed to wait until the icing's hardened so it is like Krispy Kreme. But I just want to try one and then we'll leave them overnight to harden. And then I think this one looks the best. What do you think? No, no, leave it. What? Leave it? I don't want to eat it. Taste test time. That's actually really good. <laughs> no, no, I'm not joking. That's really good. You're going to be shook. Come here. <laughs> Stop playing. Come here and try that. You're going to be shook. It just tastes like red. Mm -mm. Okay, it's now the morning. Um, I, ha I literally had to go straight to bed because I we were making the donuts so late. I think it was literally like half 11, 11, and I was at making donuts that late. So I literally fell straight to sleep, but I was so happy with the donuts. I think they look like actual like Krispy Kreme donuts. And in the morning, 
they set really nicely and the glaze was so delicious i'm so happy about them if you want that recipe it's in my instagram recipe highlight my instagram is here go and have a look at that if you want to make them yourself anyway um i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here but some good news i actually have found you know, the rest of the declutter vlog on my camera so that video will be coming out next week in its own video so i'm very excited about that but uh thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye